to you today I thought we would do sort of a just hang out together type of day so I sorry my hair is a little bit weird this morning I'm going to get it cut I thought I would bring you along for a few errands and um, just kind of spend the day together so I haven't really done a video like that in a while maybe ever on YouTube um, so I thought it would be fun to just hang out for the day so I'm just gathering up my little stuff trying to at least and um, trying to get out the door here I just let the dogs out well the ones who like to take me up on the outside time uh, two of my dogs are old guys they're not that old but in great dane years i guess they're old um so moose he has to go outside because he has like the bladder the size of a pea so um he definitely has to go outside but you have to force him to most of the time because he's so lazy and then Zeus will not leave the bed. Once he goes out in the morning, he eats his breakfast, then he's done. He would like to lay down until his afternoon outside time. So you cannot make him go outside. And luckily he doesn't need to, like there's no fear of him going to the bathroom in the house or anything. So um, Clark always goes out at every opportunity. He even lets himself outside most of the time. But um, Millie, she is like the princess in the pea. She just likes to lay up on her little pillow on the bed all day. So she also will not be taking a morning outing, but I, I need to get Clark inside here and then I can actually leave to go get my hair cut and proceed on with my day for a little while. So let me gather them up, get everybody in their rooms and have their treats and we will hit the road here soon. Clark, what's up with your arm? Hmm? What's wrong with it? Is it hurting? Is it hurting? I see you have dirty paws. So you were running. Now we can actually get going here. I'm gonna put a few things away. And I do like to have my headphones when I leave out for the day. And I gotta get my water. You have to have 40 ounces of water with you at all times, right? Is that not you too? Been in my driveway for a minute, but I, before I left, I wanted to order a drink from Starbucks actually. That's not something that I usually do because I kind of have to go out of my way in order to get a drink from Starbucks and they're extremely expensive, um, if we're being honest. But I've had it in my mind for like three days. Oh, I really want to try a drink from Starbucks. This one is called Iced, oops, let me turn that off for you. This one's called Iced Pecan Crunch Oat Milk Latte. So, you know it's gonna be expensive, but I'm gonna give it a go. I really want to. And I also am gonna order a potato cheddar and chive bake, which is basically like an egg bake. So I'm gonna try that too. And I'm just gonna put my order in before I leave. That way I can just roll on over there, hopefully run through the drive-thru and pick it up. Um, that seems easy. So let's go get that and see how it is. Well, I got this. This is actually venti i thought i was getting a grande but um it's pretty big pretty big girl here i need a straw something to stir this with so i just kind of swirl 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 i changed it up a little bit and that's the reason that i do like to order on the app if i get something like this because then you can customize it so it tells you exactly how many like pumps of the sweetener and stuff you is in the drink and you can take it down a notch because I don't ever like mine as sweet as they actually come. So yeah, I do like to change that just a little bit to take it down a few pumps. I can use my fork actually. They gave me a fork with this potato bake. This thing smells good. I've never had a potato bake. Okay, let me stir this up with my fork first and then I'll use my fork to um, eat, try the potato bake. stirring yeah because I get it it looks really pretty when it's all layered up but 
I actually want it to taste sort of <laughs> homogenized instead of just drinking milk at first because all the milk is always at the top. So this one is oat milk, so let's see how it is since I changed it up. Mmm, it's really good. This is the iced venti pecan oat milk latte. And I changed it, so I reduced the pumps of sweetener in there a little bit, and I split it between the apple sweetener and the brown sugar sweetener, I think it is, or pecan brown sugar or something like that. That's good, that's really good. So here's the little potato bites. I have tried the egg bites before a few times. I usually will get those since they're, um, they don't have wheat in them. But these are the potato bites, potato chive. This is the first time trying them. They also do not have wheat in them. So let's try them out and see what we think. The thing about the egg bites for me is like the texture is really soft. And I'm hoping that the potato ones are not quite as soft. I just don't care for the texture that much of the egg bites. Mmm, these are better. Those are so good. Definitely try those if you, like me, do not care for the texture of the egg bites because they can t be kind of like soft and mushy. This is good. The potato is so delicious. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple minutes and eat these because I haven't eaten anything today. And then I'll be on my way to my hair appointment. I'm in the Home Depot parking lot. All right, you guys, I'm home now from the haircut and I wanna kind of straighten some of this bottom part to see about the length, quite frankly, because I'm not really convinced that it's even. Now, nothing I can really do about it at this point other than go back and at some point and get it fixed, but I just want to see because she said, oh, this side's shorter and um, I cut some more off of the other side, blah, 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 so. Let's check it out and see what we think. But she didn't straighten it, see how this is? I think that this side is shorter than this side now, but it's hard to tell because it's all flippy and weird because that's what my hair loves to do is flip out like that. So I'm gonna straighten it just a hair. She dried it with a round brush and everything, which is what I typically do as well. But this side still got a little bit wonky. Um, Let's see here. I think she was kind of ready to be done with me. <laughs> Cause this place is a, it's just a little small shop and there's only a few of them there, a few of them there, a few ladies there. And so when they start to get busy, I can tell they start to get a little bit antsy. Like, okay, let's move it along. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. But we'll get, we'll get all the layers down first and then we'll be able to tell a little bit better. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I was telling her because this one 
side, this side always flips out. This side never really does. It's just like, what's the problem? Um, and she said, oh, that's because this side is longer or was until she cut it. Um, so let's cut this extra off and it should be fine. I'm like, okay. But I popped through Walmart after I got my hair done. Oh, here goes Alan. Hello. Okay, I'm back. It's been almost a full hour since I started just trying to straighten my hair and see how <laughs> it looked. My face is super shiny now because I've been sweating. Um, okay, but anyway, I'm just trying to do a quick once over on my hair here see what we're working with. That is it. Really, really should have taken about five minutes. And the phone continues to ring. So you know how it is. Uh, so I was telling Alan, the last video that I put up took me over a week to edit it completely and get it out because it's like I cannot seem to have can't seem to have like 30 minutes of just uninterrupted time at any point. It's so weird because I went from being home and having hours of the day, sort of quiet, nothing that other people needed me for. So I was able to easily film some video, have some good chunks of time to edit video. Yeah. I would say not anymore, not anymore, not for a while at least. Because while I do have, my afternoons are typically free, the phone still rings constantly for the business stuff. And then people know that I'm literally physically at work in the morning, so nobody calls me and really needs things from me at that point in time. So they know in the afternoon, it's on. And then that makes it really hard to get video stuff done um after <laughs> after lunchtime it's just basically all downhill from there because the day just goes away okay this is looking better this is looking better so she did cut sort of a little bit of a not a bang but you know just a little bit of a swoop here which it's going to be behind my ear either way so okay I think it does look pretty even now that I'm looking at it with it all straightened and the bottom not you know really flipping out like crazy. So this is pretty good. Okay, and it doesn't really matter for today per se because guess what I'm gonna do? Clip the top up and um, clip the top up and leave it be um, just like that. So, <laughs> but now I know, I just wanted to check. I did get this from Walmart as well. That is, let's take it out. Let's take it out. I also got some shampoo because I was really low on shampoo. I just get like body shampoo. As in shampoo to give your hair body, not body shampoo. <laughs> okay, this thing I wanna take out. So I've been pondering getting one of these. This is like the blow dryer curler thing at the same time. So what the, and I was talking to my hairstylist today about this because I have been pondering it and then she dried my hair. Oh, okay, so it is this type that's flat. That's fine too, I guess. I was thinking more of the round brush type, but this one's a little bit flatter. That's okay too. This is what she used today, actually. I think it might be the same one. Okay. So she basically like dried my hair with a regular blow dryer. And then she used this to sort of perfect everything. And I have been thinking about getting one of these. So um, I'm excited to try this out. I won't be trying it today because I don't wash my hair every single day. And she washed it obviously. But the next time that I wash it, I'm gonna use this and see how it does. Because she said, you saw I just straightened my hair after she used this to do it, but she didn't really like work with it or anything. So I'm going to try this the next time that I wash my hair. I will report back because I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to save the box and everything in case like I just don't like it at all. I can always return it. 
Okay. <laughs> Looks better when these bottom layers are a little bit shorter. Certainly stays in place better. I have tiny hairs all over my face now. Okay. Finally, we can go down. I thought I had egg basket in here somewhere. What did I do with it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I already took it outside or something. Who knows? It'll turn up where, there it is. <laughs> I knew I did. I knew I did. There's my egg basket. Okay, now we gotta go down and collect the eggs. Come on out. This is all so far today. It's only about noon, but everything stinks so bad out here right now, quite frankly, because we've had so much rain. We had the storm. Everything has just not dried out and it smells badly. I need to throw down like so much pine shavings. So <sighs> I guess I will. There's mats, there's all the things. I mean, it looks dry obviously, but like the bedding in the coops, is still damp and that's just not that's not a good thing because it's just poop and dampness and that is not a good mix so um i guess i'm going to after lunch today because i've got to have a little bit more to eat i'm getting very hungry alan's supposed to be bringing home some something for lunch some barbecue i think um and then after lunch i'll come out here and we'll put down a good bit of pine into both of the coops change out the um change out the nest box pine as well because some of those are kind of damp M most of them are okay but um i think the smell is just from the damp bedding at the bottom of the coops so that's the geese <laughs> always making noise I came up here to work on the computer a few minutes. This is my sort of, this is like my upstairs <laughs> area. This used to be my son Nolan's bedroom. And then once he moved out a couple of years ago, I made it into our, you know, we changed it sort of to our gym, my office. My office used to be downstairs in like our front room, dining room. I get a weird piece of hair. Uh, my office used to be downstairs, kind of in our front room, dining room area. Anyway, now this is the, I'll show you, flip you around. Now, like I said, this is kind of like my office, the gym. Um, there's just, oh, we need to, we just moved that one was the TV stand we had before and we decided to move this one upstairs here. So this one probably we're gonna put either out on the curb. I know my son, nobody needs it, like, you know, to have it. I'll show you what Clark is doing over there. And then, um, so Clark and Millie can both get up here. Here's Millie right here by my side. And um, the other two cannot come up the stairs or they won't basically. Moose can come up the stairs, but then he gets scared at the top and he, it's, it's really hard to get him down. 
And then Zeus is sort of the same way, as in he gets scared once he gets up here. They love to be upstairs because they never are up here. Um, and they love that it's fully carpet up here. So it's like comfy for them to lay on the ground and all that. But anyway, the only ones that actually do come up anymore is Clark and Millie. Of course. Millie treats this like it's her own um, personal space up here. So if she ever just wants to get away, she'll come up here and just go and lay in her little chair over there and hang out by herself. But, um, or if there's a fly in the house, she'll go over there and hide out as well. So my emotional support animals always seem to be with me at any time. So, so he's got his favorite horn up here, his bed, and Millie is just always very nearby. So yeah, that's my office set up right there. It's all very official with the, um, with the game boxes to lift my monitor up and all of that. A couple of computers, one's for work, one's for home and video. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's my that's my setup. It's it's pretty big time, you know, it's pretty big time over here. I'm just gonna work a few more minutes here on my little computer stuff. And then I wanna go downstairs and tackle the green stalk planter. So the stuff that I have on the porch that I grew from seed, I've got to do something with that stuff. It's Snapdragons. It is that, um, oh shoot, what is that white stuff called? I can't remember off my off the top of my head right this second, but it's the Snapdragons. It's the uh, Gomfrina and the white stuff. Dianthus and that white stuff. What is that white stuff? I don't remember, but we got to do something with that. So we might as well put it into the green stalk and see how it does in there over the cooler months. Cause I don't really need the green stalk for anything else. I thought about saving the green stalk for strawberries, uh, but maybe I'll get another green stalk that I'll just devote to strawberries. And I think that would be spectacular. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna try to squeeze one more small project in this evening. Um, now that now that it's getting a little bit cooler outside. So I have this one, this bucket here, this bucket, this planter here, there's really nothing in it, but I'm gonna dump the soil from it. What did I do with the other one? Oh, yeah. I wanna, this is an actual terracotta one. So this is plastic, the first one is plastic. So I'm gonna actually change it over into the terracotta one and then I'll put a few of my little seedlings into here. The rest I'm going to put into my green stalk here and into these pots over here. So it may, it's obviously I don't have enough to fill the green stalk completely, but I'll kind of tuck some into the pockets and add in i went down to my compost and grabbed a little bit of the compost out as well so i'll mix that into some of the areas too but um just a little something to refresh the um area out here and get those seedlings into the ground somewhere because they're sitting on the front porch right now still and it's like they have been for a couple weeks now so i really need to just do something with them <laughs>
chat with you about the planter and what I have in there and what I don't have in there. But um, Alan decided to start running the generator that he got this week. And apparently it needs to run for four hours the first time that it's run. So it's gonna be loud out there and it's gonna be loud for the next three and a half hours, it sounds like. So not gonna be chatting outside, but I, I, there's lots of spaces still open on the um, green stalk planter that I just put a lot of those seedlings into and I got everything into it. I think I'm gonna start some more gum freena because my original plan was to put that up front and I still wanna do that. But I think I can just carry it through the winter and put it out in the spring. So that's probably gonna be a better plan actually. Anyway, but there's still lots of spots open on the green stalk, but I'm just gonna go and grab some Probably I will wait a few more weeks until it starts to tick down just a hair more in the temperature department and go and get some pansies once I start to see those out at the stores. Maybe I'll find a couple of other things to tuck into there that are different as well, but there's plenty of options here as the weather stays warm well into, we probably won't have our first frost into, we probably won't have our first frost here well into November will be the first frost for us. That's usually how it is. But even still, cool weather stuff can typically handle um, some light frost. And the great thing also about the green stalk is that I can just put it in the garage. If it's gonna be frosting for several nights in a row or something like that, I'll just throw it in the garage and that'll be fine too. So anyway, at least I got my seed trays, my seeds, uh, at least I got my seedlings planted out somewhere and I'm very happy about that. There's also several open spots in a lot of the other decorative planters that I have there on that porch, which I still want to fill those as well. So I need to just get some um, bedding plants from, you know, a big box store or a nursery or something this weekend and I can put those in. Anyway, there's still plenty of more work to be done, but it's nice to get those little seedlings out and into the green stalk and I am very happy with that. So anyway, I have enjoyed hanging out today so much. If you have, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up down there and maybe leave me a comment, say hi, say yes, I like this kind of video, say no, I prefer your other videos, whatever, whatever you think is fine. If you'll just chat with me down below, that's always so, so much fun. I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you back here again real soon.